hey, we're downtown and you're watching Celeb Secrets for you. Yeah, actually, when we first started writing it, I thought I was just making up a story. Like, oh, this is, I want to make this interesting story about this. And then um, the line kind of just came out, could have been your heroine. I was like, whoa. Okay, maybe this isn't just a story. Maybe this is like a very personal thing to me. And I was previously very, I don't know, reserved or nervous to kind of talk about that and let that part of my life out to the public because you know that's not something that's a great thing to have your father pass away from a drug overdose and you know he was a good person it was it's just you know addiction is a terrible thing and it felt really good to kind of let it out and I really enjoy playing it live uh, we have this very extended solo part that builds and gets really big and really heavy and it's kind of different from what we a lot of the other songs that we play but it feels really good and fun for all of us to play together. It's cool because like the songs translate well live so it's when like people come to our shows they like they're hearing something that they hear on the record and it's something that they are really like interested or like it's something like a melody or something that they recognize from the record and it's like we, cr we can recreate that live to the best of our ability and I think the fans really like that and sometimes we'll even add a little extra like that kind of yeah. extension in heroin and it, it kind of just adds another element for like the live shows. Can never bring them back to you. Sorry, Ma, I wanted to just a little girl. Well, um, Robert and I went with our friends to Europe, and while we were there, we were thinking it would be cool to kind of either film something or do something that we could come home and uh, turn into a downtown product, I guess you could say. Yeah, because every backdrop in Europe is just like this million dollar, or like just a beautiful landscape, or like we should film something here, take advantage of it while we have it. And we never expected Heroin to be the song that would end up being like our most popular song on Spotify and things like that. So we thought, okay, we'll just, we'll, for ourselves, we'll make a video for Heroin just for fun, kind of, and it ended up being like our top song, which is, you never, you just never know, but it's cool. And we just filmed it all with an iPhone and a one dollar app. That's like yeah, a eight millimeter. Eight app. millimeter. App. Well, um, Robert and I tend to write everything at home in our bedroom, and um, this time for this EP, we wanted to try and focus on doing more live sounds, like stuff that would translate better for our live performance. Now that we have four people, we are much less limited when we play together live. And um, I wanted to not write about being heartbroken. I wanted to focus more on family and allowing myself to be a little more vulnerable and things like that. It's really hard to describe like what you make because we like such varying genres and such different things that you just kind of put together stuff you like and it becomes something new. So it's hard for us to describe sometimes. I think with every song too we just choose the genre. like what will best fit this song. Some people like it show, it's interesting, people come up to you after shows and say, you sound like this band, or you should tour with this band, or things like that. And it sometimes it's surprising, and sometimes we're like, wow, that's a huge compliment. But people recently have said a lot of times, like Naked and Famous, or um, Fantagram, we've gotten thrown around a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> I don't know how secret should we go. Robert pees a lot. <laughs> Like a lot. Like we've been here for an hour and he's peed twice already. <laughs> 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 <laughs>